Hi guys, what I'm going to show you the PowerShell command called Git Child Item. So let's open the PowerShell and let's go to the help button of the command Git Child Item. So these are the help content that is the get child item is used for getting the files and folders in the system drive and these are the syntax and these are the descriptions which are given if you want a detailed exposure about the get child item command or any other command you can just have a look at this and you can read this and it will be helpful for you to get understand about this command in detail so let's go for an online version of the and this is the online version you can have a detailed look about the get child atom command here and it was still supported for the windows version 4.0 version and also for 3.0 version and here you can have a look at it this command whether it will be executed for all the versions of the powershell and you can just uh, have a look at here and after that you can just execute here because if you are using the power some other kind of commands which was not used in the powershell 4.0 it was waste of time to get execute that is trying to execute the command so let's go for the some examples and I have a look at it so get child item so in my previous videos I, I haven't told you about the aliases which was given in the online version and I will show that in the, my next video because there is there is no alias which was given here the default aliases will be displayed in this place like I'll just show you what command So let us get loaded and we will go for some examples. So if you see here, the aliases will be displayed. There is a these two are the default aliases which will be provided from the Microsoft itself. So you don't need to get worried about this. And so for get child item, there is no alias which was given. And let's go for the examples. So I'm just going to execute get child item so it will just by default displace all the contents in the folder where you are going to execute this command so if you see in the directory inside users main then and all these files are located all these folders are located so there is also another alias command for this get child item what is called as ls so just type ls and hit enter it will just execute the same get child item and we can also check the ls so if you see here it was the ls command was the ls was directly directed into the get child item and let's go for another help Just clear it and we just right click the copy content from the clipboard, it will be pasted into your PowerShell. So then get child item the system file and the speakers. I'm just going to execute this command. Let's see what was happening. So there is no system file which was displayed in this folder.